This whiskey comes from Keeper's Heart and it is a great little Irish and American collaboration. Just like us. So let's tell you all about it in this week's review. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt and I'm the Whiskey Nerd. I'm Rose and I'm the Whiskey New. And like we said, this is the Keeper's Heart Irish and Bourbon. So let me get it into the glass and I'll tell you a little bit about this whiskey and what makes it a special kind of a collaboration. So like it says on the bottle, it is an Irish and Bourbon whiskey. So it's a mix of Irish whiskey and bourbon whiskey. Oh, so I'm the bourbon, you're the whiskey. Exactly, it is, I believe, 59% bourbon and 41% Irish whiskeys, and that 41% of Irish whiskeys is made up of pot still whiskey and grain whiskey, with oh. pot still whiskey being the kind of classic Irish spicy style of whiskey that is unique to Ireland. Yeah. Yeah, so this comes from the O'Shaughnessy distilling company now they are a new distillery so they don't actually have they have a distillery but they don't yet have their own whiskey matured and aged and all that That's so because i don't recognize the name no it's coming from america though oh yes and it is a brand new distillery like i said so they are currently sourcing they sourced the bourbon from this for um uh, mgp in america and they sourced the Irish whiskey from GND. Now, that's a lot of acronyms. Yeah, so it's a lot of acronyms, but GND stands for the Great Northern Distillery, a distillery here in Ireland that's on the kind of northern part of the country, as you'd imagine. Yeah. And MGP stands for Midwest Grain Product. My people, yeah. the Midwest. You're a Midwestern girl from Chicago, yeah. So this is, so M these are kind of big, kind of mothership distilleries. They make a lot of whiskey for other people. So if you're a new distillery, oftentimes you're gonna be buying product from them, maybe aging yourself, maybe blending it in different ways to give it a different kind of flavor. And that's what they've done here with 59% MGP bourbon and 41% Irish whiskeys. They haven't said how much of that 41% is grain whiskey and how much of the 41% is pot still whiskey. Oh. They're keeping that a secret, they haven't disclosed that amount, but it's gonna be somewhere in there is pot still and somewhere in there is grain whiskey. Okay. Now the blender behind this, the kind of, kind of, I don't know, inspiration behind the blend of Keeper's it's Heart. Me. It's not you. <laughs> it's a guy called Brian Nation. He's a name that might be familiar to a lot of people if you're familiar with Irish whiskey because until very recently, his name was on the bottom of every bottle of Middleton Very Rare. <gasps> I wonder if his skill is very rare. I think his skill might be quite rare because Middleton Very Rare is a fantastic whiskey. He was the head distiller at Middleton for I think seven years or so, and he's now moved on to Keeper's Heart with this brand. Oh, okay. Yeah, it comes in at 46% ABV, which is Oh, nice. I usually like 46%. Yeah. It's a nice amount where it'll give you a good bit of flavor. Like it's not gonna be down at 40%. It's not gonna be yeah. kind of bland but it's also not gonna be so hot, there's a lot of burn, a lot of mm. spice, or nothing kind of unpleasant coming through. It'll just be enjoyable on a lovely day outside. Yeah, the whiskey comes in at four years old, so it's not super old, but again- But it's, it's whiskey. It's still whiskey, it's not down at the three year Irish minimum, it's not down like at you know, two years or something very young for the bourbon. It's at four years, solid amount. So I think we go in for the nose <gasps> and see how it is. Okay. Cheers. Mm. It's quite sweet. Oh my god. Yeah. Like I'm getting, obviously there's like, there's a bit of oak, bit of bourbon-y influence coming through. But there's also some caramel, vanilla. Yeah, it's very sweet. And kind of, well, well not I like guess, overly sweet. Yeah, I get kind of like um, Is there apple, a, like, but, not, but not like a fresh apple, like an apple candy. Oh, like that kind of green apple candy. Yeah, like a green apple candy. I'm imagining there's like a lollipop, like a little lollipop you get here in Ireland. And it's kind of like a sour green apple lollipop and that kind of smell is what I'm getting I'm here. imagining a candy that's very similar to that, but I cannot remember the name. All the way I think of Starburst and it's not Starburst. But it's Help me out, kind people. Of apple candies. Yes. Yeah. Like there's definitely a good bit of bourbon note coming through yeah. on here, but there's also oh. a strong Irish influence. I was just about to say that. Yeah, like it's kind of buttery, creamy, a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of baking spices, kind of biscuity notes. Oh, through. those I love. Yeah, it's kind of like, um, what, what would you say it's like? Kind of like a, like a baked good or something? Like, yeah, a digestive. Yeah, like kind of like a spicy kind of a digest, like, um, like a pie crust. Oh. Like if you imagine crushed up pie crust, bit of cinnamon, bit of nutmeg, that kind of, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's just like a nice kind of approachable nose on it. Yeah. Yes. So well, let's go in for the palate now. Let's go for the palate and see how it tastes. Okay. 
A little kind of peppery. Oh. Yeah. More oak, definitely a lot more oak. Yeah. Kind of almost drying on the palate than it was on the nose. Yeah. Coming through, still quite sweet. Still I got sweetness yeah. at the very beginning, and then I got the peppery, oaky bit at the end. And I can like feel the warmth at the back of my throat. Mm. Yeah, definitely upfront caramel, vanilla, kind it's of like a journey. kind of butterscotchy, yeah. and then right behind that you get that oak, you get that bit of peppery spice. Yeah. Kind of um oh, there's a as red hot. That's a cinnamon candy, right? It is. It's not like not spicy, but like that kind of cinnamon candy. Yeah, very yeah. candied kind of yeah. nose and palate. I'm but getting. not super sweet. So mm. like, I think it's a good middle ground almost. If you're not sure like sweet or like a traditional whiskey, because you're getting a bit of both. Mm -hmm. I think in it. So it could be like a good taster for anyone trying yeah. it, or if you're like, maybe I want to try a slightly whiskey slightly sweeter whiskey or a slightly not so sweet whiskey. It's a good middle ground, I think. Yeah, because like the Irish whiskey is aged typically in refill bourbon casks. So these mm. casks have already been used. So like the bourbon gets a lot of that oak influence, gets a lot of that char, that spice. And then when the Irish whiskey goes into a bourbon cask, that char, the oak spice, much more muted. So you're definitely getting some of the oak spice from the bourbon, but then it's kind of tamed back a little bit okay. by the Irish influence, but then at the same time, that Irish influence, it means it's not w without oak. It's not without yeah. that char. You still get some, so it is, yeah, it's a good middle ground. It's a good yeah. balance between the kind of two kind of profiles. Mm -hmm. I get a bit of like, coffee? Mm. I was a bit say like cocoa, that kind of drying kind of... Oh, yeah, like, like cocoa a, powder. Kind of cocoa powder, like I can see what you mean like with an espresso where you got those kind of... Darker, yeah, like an espresso, the darker chocolate, oh, not darker chocolate, darker coffee yeah. notes. Yeah, that's more, it's almost kind of more into the like the finish. Yeah. So I think let's go for a final sip. <gasps> oh, okay. But we're going to focus on the finish, how it lasts, what flavor fades away first, etc. Okay. Like we said, up front, you get that kind of the sweetness, you get a little bit of that peppery spice. Yeah. As I'm breathing, as I'm taking the breath, I get almost a little bit like a peanutty note. Peanutty? I think of like a peanut brittle, that kind of like a, oh, I'm getting see, a little get bit. more oaky, mm. um, coffee. Yeah. Oh, it was definitely that coffee and that cocoa powder. Yeah. yeah. Definitely coming through. Peanut brittle, I love peanut yeah. brittle. Definitely, there's definitely a good core of sweetness, I think, that lingers on. Yeah. Like, yeah, you got the sweetness fades, lets the oak that go, but the sweetness doesn't disappear. It's like, a, it like does, a, a graph of sweetness, not sweetness, and it does this. It does, it does, it does this, it does this. No, it's a graph, it does. Okay. And we're getting graphs here, we're getting, yeah, yeah. flavor graphs. Scientific. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice whiskey, though. Yeah. It's like, a very warm whiskey, like you can feel it at the back. It's going mm. down. It warms up the chest. Yeah, but it's not like whoa. It's not like a hot. There's not a lot <laughs> of know? burn. Yeah, there's not burn. It's, like, it's, it's just, just a warm. warming whiskey. Like you, you drink it, you can feel that warmth coming down. Like at forty six percent, it's not gonna be super hot. Yeah, it's not gonna be super like. It's not cast strength. It's not cast strength, but it is gonna have that nice bit of warmth. Yeah, and that does come through. Like it is overall, I think, a pretty easy drinking whiskey. Okay. Like it's not. Like, I think it's easy drinking, but for more mature easy drinking. Yeah, no, I'm not saying like it's easy drinking, like there's nothing going oh, on. Oh, okay. But like okay. it's easy drinking, like there's a bit of sweetness, there's a bit of spice. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's nothing that's like unpleasant in there. I like that it's got the sweetness and then like the oaky coffee bits and you're going on like a flavor journey and they kind of change as you go through it. Yeah. I think it's good from that perspective if you want to like something that you can easily drink but it's got a little like complexity to yeah, it. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah, it's got a little bit of complexity because it's got that kind of Irish is generally kind of an approachable, easy style of whiskey to yeah. drink. It's quite friendly, bit of fruitiness, bourbon, bit spicier, bit kind of more oak char. It does mix them together. We're spicy and friendly here. Spicy and friendly, yeah. Yeah, so I think that's all there's to say about the Keeper's Heart Irish and Bourbon. Now, I know they have got other whiskeys in the range. They've got an Irish and rye whiskey finish. They've got ones that were finished in, I think, stout casks, wine casks, uh, maple casks, and virgin oak casks. So they have a couple a of lot. other different whiskeys in the range. Okay. Uh, we've only tried this one. If you've tried any others, let us know down below what you thought of them. Yeah. Um, and while you're there, leave us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, 
And if you have any ideas of whiskies we want you want to see us review in future, let us know and we'll try and get them. Yeah. So until next time, I think we're gonna both gonna keep on enjoying this. Slaunch it. Bye bye.